what makes a Jewish person Jewish? Do you need a kippah, a necklace, synagogue membership? Do you have to do anything at all? Here's a mythbuster. Plenty of Jewish people have never seen a synagogue and have no clue about Jewish symbols, beliefs, traditions, or cuisine. But they are as Jewish as Moses. So what's it all about? You see, we love to sort things into categories, create neat labels, and use those labels to help us understand our world a little better. Here are four popular ways of classifying people. Does being Jewish have to do with any of these? Are you Jewish because you belong to the Jewish race? Hold on, is there even such a thing as a Jewish race? Look at these images. These folks are all equally Jewish. Race doesn't appear to be a factor. Actually, non-Jewish people from the most diverse places and races can become fully Jewish. So we clearly can't define Jewishness as belonging to a specific race. Why don't we try culture? Are you Jewish because you follow the Jewish culture? Well, you might be, if there was a Jewish culture to follow. But there is no single culture common to all Jews. Here's why. The ancient Jews lived in the land of Israel for over a millennia, but they were forced into exile by the ancient Romans. That happened almost two millennia ago. Since then, Jews settled all over the globe. The result of Jews spending centuries in very different kinds of places was that they developed many very distinct cultures, including unique ways of dressing, unique foods, styles of music, prayers, practices, dialect, and celebrations. The result? There is no single uniform Jewish culture. So Jewishness is not based on culture. What about nationality? That's a legal term. It means that you belong to a certain country or state. If Jewish is a description of your nationality, it would mean that you are a citizen of a Jewish state. But that's not the case. We've got British, French, Italian, Turkish, South African, Swedish, Spanish, Argentinian, and Indian Jews. You'll find Jews in every country, and almost all of them are citizens only of the state within which they reside. Even the state of Israel includes millions of non-Jewish Israeli citizens. That pops the nationality argument, doesn't it? And here's a bigger buster. Historically, the Jews did not have an independent state for most of their existence as a people. Strike three. Religion. That sounds good. Are you Jewish because you follow the Jewish religion? Well, no, because many Jews do not associate themselves with any religion. In fact, there are many Jews who do not even know they are Jewish. And there are also Jews who practice a religion other than Judaism. But according to Judaism, they are all equally Jewish. Phew, this is really tough. I guess it's time for the one and only Jewish answer. Being Jewish means that you have a Jewish soul. How do you get a Jewish soul? The most common way is through a Jewish mother. You see, according to Judaism, every child to a Jewish mother is naturally born with a Jewish soul. Your mother's race and nationality make no difference. She might follow the Jewish religion or culture, or she might not. But if she's Jewish, you're Jewish. And there's no opting out. If you're born a Jew, it means that God decided that you're meant to be Jewish for life. So if you're Jewish, thank your mom. Then there's conversion. If you were not born to a Jewish mother, but you complete the authentic and challenging Jewish process of becoming Jewish, God will give you a Jewish soul at the moment of conversion. So what can we take away from all this? It is the privilege and responsibility of each Jew to lead a Jewish life. But those who do not are authentically Jewish. Living the Jewish way allows your soul to shine, but it does not create your soul. That's already alive and kicking inside you, waiting for you to connect. So what is a Jew? It's a spiritual force within you.